Hello everyone. In this video, I will be creating a unique design using artificial intelligence with Midjourney. Midjourney is an AI platform that allows you to generate artwork based on a specific text prompt, and it's perfect for creating designs for your print-on-demand business. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create your own unique designs and turn them into high-quality files that you can upload to print-on-demand websites. Head over to Midjourney's website and click Join the Beta. It works inside the Discord messaging app, so register for an account and accept the invite. Once you're inside the Discord server, scroll down until you see the newbie rooms. This is where you can use a message box to create your designs by simply typing in words. Here you can see what other people have created and which prompts or words they use to get their results. It is good practice grounds to get used to these tools, but these public channels can get quite busy and you have to keep scrolling to find your designs, which can be annoying and time consuming. I recommend jumping over to a private direct message with Midjourney. And now you can work on your designs in private without the clutter. This is my last design I created by simply typing in the word dog. You can only direct message with the subscription version. It's also important to note that with the free version, you can only use the images for non-commercial use. So if you plan on selling your designs, you will need to subscribe to a plan. To create your own AI artwork, all you have to do is type in slash imagine. This will bring up where you enter your prompt. For example, if you type in cat, Midjourney will generate cat images. It gave us these photorealistic cat images. I want something more illustrated and retro looking. I also want it to be a ragdoll cat. So now I will type in a new prompt with more details about the cat and the graphic style that I want. With more keywords in your prompt, you can compose the image you desire. I suggest keeping it simple to not confuse the AI, but you can also try to test its limits and its accuracy. And these are the four results. If you like design, you can upscale it to a higher resolution, or you can also make different variations of the image by using the buttons below the image. Click the V buttons and it will bring up four more designs based on your choice. Here are the four versions with slight variations. Let's experiment and change our design by copying and pasting the prompt but switching out cat with baby dinosaur. And these are the results. This is what we get when we switch it out with the sloth. You can get as creative as you want and switch up the entire art style which we decided to keep the same for these. I like this one the best so let's click the U button to upscale and it has scaled it up and added more detail. Once you've found the design you want to use, open it up in the browser and save the image. It will be 1024 by 1024 pixels, which is the highest resolution possible with these settings, but too low for art on t-shirts or posters. You will need to turn it into a high resolution, high quality file. There are many ways to scale your design with free and paid software. I have tried many of the free ones and I like this one the best. Hit Paw Photo Enhancer. They have a free version to try it. Drag and drop the image you want to resize. There are several AI models you can choose. Denoise works amazing for these illustrated designs. The new resolution will be 4096 by 4096. And hit export. And here we can see the original one on the left and the new scaled image on the right. The new image is way clearer and crisper than the original one, which looks blurry compared to it. Now we want to remove the background by using Photoshop or similar software. Remove the background by using the magic wand tool. Adjust the tolerance and select the background. Here I'm using the lasso tool to unselect some of the parts that the wand selected and that I don't want to delete. This will be everything within the outline of our design. And now delete. 
Like any background remover, the wand doesn't remove everything perfectly and I have to delete some of the beige with the lasso tool. This circle as well. You can continue to clean the image this way and save it when you're done. This method along with most of the free methods are sufficient enough to upload onto print on demand products. This next step is not necessary, but to get the cleanest edges, I enjoy using Procreate on an iPad. Again, this is not necessary and could take a bit longer, but you can make the crispest edges and added details of your design. Once we finally have our clean design, we are ready to upload the design to any print-on-demand platform. This AI technology is not perfect yet, but it is an amazing start. Use these tools and research about them to possibly create thousands of incredible looking designs using artificial intelligence. There are many advanced prompts and parameters that you can experiment with and I suggest looking at the official manual or other YouTube videos for more tips. Let me know in the comments if I should make one or if you have any other questions. Thank you for watching.